In this video, I'm going to compare these two ukuleles, the Flight TUC and the Bumblebee Hive. Both of these ukuleles have a design and price point that makes them fit for the beginner and travel ukulele market. I'm going to discuss various aspects of the ukuleles from design to sound and offer my thoughts on which one does better in each area. Any areas I don't mention, you can assume I think the ukuleles are on an even par. Just to be completely transparent, this is a concert scale ukulele and this one is a soprano scale. This one has flight clear fluorocarbon strings. This one has aquila strings, which I believe are white nail gut. So these are two differences to take into account throughout this video, but I will consider these elements as I compare them to try and make it a bit fairer. I think the preference for overall appearance will be very subjective to people's individual tastes. The flight does have more of a traditional appearance. The fact that the bumblebee can stand up on its own is a nice feature and I much prefer the all black look of the plastic as opposed to the flight who have try to emulate the appearance of wood on the neck. However, Flight do have some models that are also all black, so it really depends which one you pick. But I think when I got this one, they didn't have those options available. I also prefer the smoothness of the fretboard on the bumblebee. The flight has tried to again emulate wood with a sort of grainy texture on the plastic but I don't think that it adds anything to the playability or the look and feel of the ukulele. I also prefer the smooth feel of the frets on the bumblebee and I think the frets feel a little bit stronger but only time will tell how long they actually do last. The position markers on my flight are inlaid into the fretboard, whereas on the Bumblebee they are painted on. I think these ones on the Bumblebee will wear off in time, whereas these ones on the flight should not, or they should at least last a lot longer. This one comes with a strap button, this one does not. The older flight travel ukuleles did not have strap buttons, but the newer ones do. The plastic on the flight seems more robust than the plastic on the hive. Whether you can tell by me knocking on it and making a noise, I don't know. It feels not flimsy, not flimsy at all, but it does feel less strong than the flight. The flight also comes with a gig bag, so it just makes it easier to transport it. This one, you're going to have to either find a gig bag for it or stick it in a backpack or something. I mean, it probably would fit in a backpack, but just another, just another factor to consider. Neither of these ukuleles have the most slender of neck profiles. However, the flight has the slimmer of the two and it actually is flattened out on the back with a fairly small heel in comparison to the bumblebee, which has a chunky heel and a very thick neck profile, which only gets thicker the further up the fretboard you go. It doesn't make it unplayable, it just makes it harder to play higher up the fretboard. Now, let's also factor in the fact this is a concert, so a bit bigger which I think is also why it's a bit easier to play. It's got wider frets and a bigger body, so it's just there's just more to it to hold. And it's also easier to rest it against your leg when you're playing if you're not holding up here. Now I need to talk about strings before we get onto a sound comparison because they have different strings. That's going to affect the sound a little bit. Both of the ukuleles came fitted with Aquila strings and I straight away did not like them on the flight travel ukulele and changed them very quickly to clear fluorocarbon strings. For me, the Aquila strings just made the ukulele sound over bright, over loud, almost a bit harsh. The clear fluorocarbon strings just mellowed it out a bit. 
and I think make the notes a bit clearer as well. I also just think that the clear fluorocarbon strings feel easier to play on this ukulele. It just makes it a bit more comfortable and they don't squeak as much as the acrylic strings either. Having said all that, I, you know, I thought I really don't like these strings at all when playing them on the flight travel ukulele. But then playing them on, now I believe they're the same strings. Playing them on here, don't actually mind them so much. So I'm going to analyse the sound differences a little bit here, but of course just bear in mind that they have different strings. The bumblebee is more mellow and quiet than the flight. I also think it sounds a bit thinner. The flight is more crisp and bright and loud. I think I have to again take into account that this is a concert and this is a soprano that could factor into the difference in volume but also I think just the body shape as well affects that also being quieter isn't a bad thing it depends what you want a ukulele for and it's not too quiet I would say the sustain is about the same on both of them but the higher notes do ring out a bit better on the flight If I put the clear fluorocarbon strings on the hive, I will do a quick update. I am thinking I might sell that ukulele, so whether I do that in time before I end up selling it or not, I'm not 100%, but if I do it, you'll know about it. The Bumblebee Hive is £39.99, British pounds, and the Flight TUC Kitty, that's the model I have, is £54.99. I think you can see what you get for that extra £15 with the flight. The obvious one being that this is a larger scale but it also feels like the more sturdy of the two and it has a strap button and gig bag which is just more convenient for the player. If you're considering either or both of these ukuleles I would say that they both play alright, they both hold their tuning they both have 
good intonation. They both have their downsides, but they are cheaper ukuleles, so good for if you're just getting into this or if you want something cheap to travel with. What do you think? Do you have a preference? I hope this video has been interesting and useful to you. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.